a sentiment that we can all agree with is that sometimes we're prone to wander. Despite our best efforts, it's so easy to get distracted by the cares of the world or other enticing paths that evil ones make look so inviting. This does not come as a surprise to our Heavenly Father. Since the fall of Adam and Eve, when sin entered the world, all of us sin and fall short of the glory of God. One of the most wonderful truths of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that wandering is not a spiritual death sentence. Our mistakes do distance us from God and his spirit. But when we wander, God has provided a way back. Repentance can be painful with feelings of shame and guilt and effort to repair the damage that you've done. But the effort's always worth it. Religious leader and teacher Boyd K. Packer describes this beautifully. The atonement leaves no tracks, no traces. What it fixes is fixed. It just heals. And what it heals stays healed. Once we have repented, our Heavenly Father does not dwell on our sins or dredge up the past as many do. In Jeremiah 31, 34, it says, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, for the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. The atonement is so powerful that it can fix what was lost. God promises that he will remember our sins no more. What a wonderful, hopeful message. What a relief that our mistakes and our foolishness do not need to cause permanent damage if we repent. As this song says, we should offer our heart and will to the Lord and ask them, ask him to seal us to him. Here's my heart, Lord. Take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon, mount of thy redeeming love. By thy help I'm come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rescue from danger interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace how great a tetter daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness like a fetter bind my wandering heart to thee prone to wonder what I feel it prone to leave the God I love is my heart take and seal it seal it for 